Hey guys, in this quick video lesson, we are going to cover an important but often overlooked topic. How to pick great drumsticks. Now this isn't about promoting one manufacturer over another, so we're going to mention Vic Firth, Vader, Promark, just to name uh, the big, some of the biggies out there. Uh, but this is not about recommending one of those over the other. This is really about, once you have decided the make and model of the stick that you're interested in, how to make sure when you go to the store, you get the pair that is the best one of the bunch that you can find of the particular one that you've decided on. So it should be pretty obvious that you should pick a drumstick that is appropriate for the application that you're looking for. So if you're looking for something for a marching application, make sure you get a marching drumstick. Don't buy a marching drumstick for a concert application because it won't sound very good and it may actually damage your drum heads. So let's say we've decided on Ralphie Jr's as the stick we're interested in purchasing. When we go to the store, what we don't want to do is just tell the guy behind the counter, hey, hand me a pair of Ralphie Jr's and then we pay for them and walk out. If you do that, you're very likely going to get a pair of sticks that doesn't play very well from the player's perspective and doesn't sound very good from the listener's perspective. In fact, if they're bad enough, they might even sound like they're broken, even though they're not actually broken. What we want to do instead is we want to tone out multiple pairs. Ideally, this would be between four and six or more pairs of sticks, and we want to compare the pitch, and we want to try to get the highest pitch pair. Now, at the end of the day, the pitch isn't always going to be the whole story, so there's some other things that we want to do. So hang in here for the rest of the information on that. But so in a nutshell, here's basically what we're going to do. We take a pair of Ralphie Juniors and we pull the sleeve off. Now, we don't ever want to mix the sticks from one sleeved pair and another pair. That is only going to upset the guy in the store and not make him very willing to help us and accommodate what we're doing. So make sure you don't mix them up. Keep them together. And we want to hold them like a clave and just lightly tap them and get a pitch. All right, and we set that aside and we go to the next pair. Again, taking care not to mix them up. Now that's really close. I really can't quite tell the difference between those two. Let's try this pair. All right, obviously much higher. So if all I had to test was these three pair, then this would be the winning pair. Now the last test is simply to play with them Right? Just to do some rebound strokes or legatos, if that's your flavor, and feel the rebound energy or feel the vibration energy in the hands and just take note of that. Now, since I've only compared three sticks here, I can only conclude that this is the best of the three. I can't really conclusively uh, determine that this is a great pair of drumsticks, only that it's really probably the best of the three. So ideally, as I said, you want to test at least four preferably five or six or more if you have the time and they have the stock. Let's say we've decided on the Tem Genis Generals, which is a great concert stick from Vic Firth. So again, like these are expensive and this is why we're doing this. These, these run around 20 bucks retail. Uh, so we want to make sure we don't get a pair of sticks that we're ultimately not going to like. So let's say we're going to test these Tem Genis Generals, right? We do the same thing. And by the way, make sure we're comparing only Tim Genis Generals to other Tim Genis Generals. I can't pair or compare the, the pitch from these to the Ralphie Juniors. That's not a fair comparison. It's a different wood type. It's a different taper. Uh, so we can't do that. It's got to be the same brand against or the same model against the same model. So hear that again since I've talked over it. All right. Let's check out the next pair. All right. Clearly, this is much lower. So we're going to put the sleeve back on these and set those aside. Try the next pair. All right, so this is slightly lower, I think, than the first pair. Let me double check that. Yeah, so the first pair is still the front runner. These are slightly lower, but it is super close. I'm gonna keep those together. When you're only like a quarter tone or less apart, uh, those sticks may not be able to be differentiated by pitch alone. All right, so this is definitely lower than the other two. So this is where it comes down to the playing test. When they are this close in pitch, and again, listen to this, and try the other one. You can tell we get a little bit of a difference. The stick is slightly higher pitched. Compare that to the first pair. All right, so I feel like this pair is just a hair lower in pitch overall than this pair. Right? But ultimately, what's going to decide, once they're this close, you really need to play with both of them. And pretty much every store is going to have a practice pad near where you pay for these sticks anyway. So, give it a little play. 
Take special note of how much vibration you're feeling. Do these sticks feel lively or not? Okay, feels pretty good. This was the slightly lower pitch pair. All right, now I actually feel like these might be a couple of grams heavier, and as a result, the wood is a little bit more dense than this pair. So usually you won't see that as a dramatic difference in pitch uh, where one pair is heavier. Usually the heavies are always gonna be the highest pitch pair or very close to it. So in this case, if I was only going to buy one pair, I would buy this pair because even though it's not quite the highest pitch pair, it's very close, it's slightly heavier, a little bit more dense, and it's got a much better feel. It's probably gonna have a much better sound as well, or at least a slightly better sound than these. Although if I was looking for two pair, I think both of these pair would make a good choice. So anyway, if you doubt what I'm saying, after you've toned out some pairs and you've picked out your winner, go back to the one and maybe set, set aside, make a mental note when you try this in the store, set aside the one that was the lowest pitch pair. And I think that was this one. And then do the same little play test with the lowest pitch pair. And you will feel so much more vibration in the hands and the sticks just don't want to play themselves at all. They're far less lively and you'll really understand what I'm saying. So anyway, I hope you found this information useful. If you've never been exposed to this information before, I think this will serve you well. If you've come across this before or you've got other ways that you like to choose uh, sticks, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing what other people do. But I hope you found the information helpful and consider subscribing for our virtual video lessons that we come out around once a week or so. And we hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for joining us.